With 90% of Sjogren's patients being women, getting pregnant is often a concern. Although many Sjogren's patients can conceive and have healthy babies, for some, pregnancy can be a challenge. Here are some of what you should consider about pregnancy if you have Sjogren's. When we were newly married, probably a year into marriage, I was speaking with the rheumatologist saying that children in our future was our hope and would I have any issue getting pregnant. So he mentioned that um, I needed to be screened for the Rho antibody to see if I was positive for that. For Sjogren's patients, it is important to find an OBGYN that understands Sjogren's and is willing to work with your rheumatologist. The main concern is just knowing what their antibody type is, mm -hmm. um, if, the, if they're either having trouble getting pregnant or they become pregnant. And I still see have seen people um, at, who were being cared for or had seen specialists at major universities and they were pregnant and yeah, they had dry eyes, dry mouth, but they didn't order an SSA and SSB. Yeah. So they went into their pregnancy high risk, but without being connected to the right physicians. For some patients, getting pregnant can be a challenge. We tried for four years to get pregnant, two years like yeah. really actively. And um, then when I saw Dr. Carter on, she finally said, um, I think you should see a specialist. By working with a team of doctors, they can determine if inflammation from Sjogren's may be causing your infertility and pregnancy challenges. So at this point, we were diagnosed with unexplained infertility. We went to a high-risk um, OB. Where they sent me to a pediatric cardiologist so that sh I would start getting screened at 15 weeks um, for the fetal heart block. Mm -hmm. And I was seen by a doctor every week. Um, either the perinatologist or the pediatric cardiologist from 15 weeks up until 26 weeks. Fetal heart block is probably the most serious complication of pregnancy in Sjogren's. So fetal heart block um, is part of the spectrum um, in Sjogren's. It also occurs in lupus. That's primarily related to one of the autoantibodies or, or group of them, SSA and SSB probably can be related to some extent with antiphospholipid antibody as well, but most of the data is around SSA and SSB. So the mom has these antibodies and it crosses the placenta into the, to the baby and it binds with their heart tissue. And at what point is it just the initial binding or has it been going on long enough that it's causing scarring? I don't know that we really know. Um, there's some studies going on with ultrasound, looking at people at an early age that we may be able to get that information. Um, but when it causes, when there is um, damage of some sort to the electrical wiring system in the heart, that causes heart block. And it can be dramatic if you don't know about it ahead of time. Although fetal heart block in Sjogren's is considered to be rare, there are varying degrees of heart block that can occur in a newborn baby, ranging from mild, with just monitoring and no treatment needed, to the most serious, with the loss of the baby. I would say definitely talk to your rheumatologist prior to planning to have children to first get tested for the row antibody and see if you're positive, because if you're negative, then you might not have to be monitored as closely as I was. Um, and then I would say get in with an OB right away and start talking to them to make sure that you have the resources for potentially perinatologists or pediatric cardiologists or, you know, even afterwards a pediatrician to know that you have the support lined up before you jump in because I, knowing what I was getting myself into was easier than getting pregnant and going, oh my gosh. I have to be seen more frequently than the average woman. Would you do it all again? Absolutely, in a heartbeat. Pregnancy in Sjogren's is possible. Just look at Aaron's and James's successful story. But for others, there have been heartbreak. Knowing your autoantibodies, working with a team of experienced OBGYNs, and your rheumatologist is your best way of being ahead of any complication that could arise. For more information about pregnancy in Sjogren's, visit Sjogren's.org. Thank you for joining us on Exploring Sjogren's.